Today's commentary over the video and which is my latest squat workout is going to be something that you guys are going to be able to use and apply to your training and it's also probably something you've heard before and you might not exactly know what they're talking about when they're mentioning it or you might have no idea what I'm even talking about and that is okay because by the end of this video you'll be able to use the RPE scale which is what we're talking about effectively you'll be able to explain it and you'll also be able to apply it which is the most important thing so getting right into it the RPE scale which is something like I said you might have heard before and you might not have stands for reps perceived exertion so RPE reps perceived exertion after knowing that you might kind of understand a little bit of what the scale is trying to achieve for everyone so anyone can use the scale the scale is going to differ based on the person but the actual structure of the scale is the same for every person so this will make more sense in a second but the scale works from a scale of 0 to 10 so very simple and really the majority of the time you're going to be working with numbers over 5 so between 5 and 10 10 on the scale would be complete failure so whatever weight you're working with however many reps it takes to get to failure that would be an RPE 10 9 I like to say is the point where I usually train to so it's right before you hit that failure point so just maybe you got one more rep in the tank that you can do but you know you're gonna hit failure on that next rep that would be an R RPE 9 so working your way down then 8 would be maybe about two reps in the tank maybe about one and a half seven about three reps in the tank or so and then so on down the chain so a zero or a one on the scale would be like the bar something you could do for like 30 40 reps pretty much do it all day so with that being said guys in this video I'm gonna be working up to 315 on the back squat and I'm gonna be doing it for an AMRAP which AMRAP if you're not familiar with that is as many reps as possible so I'm looking to do as many reps as possible on the back squat with 315 so in the past I have done 315 for 8 reps as an AMRAP which is pretty good for my standards and I was feeling really strong at that point in time which I did that which was probably about three months ago so being that I wanted to work up to an RPE 9 on this squat day with 315 I knew that I could judge based on the RPE skill in order to not hit failure and also in order to not have to use a spotter so if you are able to read your body and understand when the point is you're actually gonna hit failure before you do you are able to train in a much smarter and more effective way so on this day like I said if you have not already seen it already because I'm doing this commentary before I put the video together I'm able to hit six reps with 315 so yes two reps shy of my PR which is okay but knowing that I wasn't feeling quite hundred percent or feeling enough to hit a PR or time my PR I'm able to still train to the optimal point just before failure even on a day when I'm not feeling as strong so you're kind of wondering maybe why this makes sense or why I do this the reason is if I came into the gym yesterday thinking that I was gonna be able to hit at least eight reps and I didn't hit eight reps I might feel that I got weaker that I might have gotten worse at the squat or so on but being that I'm able to train to an RPE 9 I'm knowing that I'm getting the best possible workout and just maybe being one tired um, not lack of nutrition not feeling recovered as much as I should be that could be all the variables there's so many variables that go into not being able to hit a PR on whatever day or whatever there's so many things that it could be guys but being able to use an RPE scale and use this kind of tool to help your train help your training excuse me to the most optimal amount every single session you're able to just really use this in a most effective way that's gonna help you guys get the most out of every session like I said and really just allow you to train in the most smart and most effective way so I know I'm kind of rambling on here now guys but I hope this kind of makes sense the RPE scale is something that I use on every single exercise even my hypertrophy movements it really allows me to make sure that I'm getting that point just to failure getting a good workout in but not reaching that failure point another reason I don't like failure is just simply because you don't feel good after that if you hit failure on your first exercise going into the gym going into the second third fourth exercise you're just gonna not feel like you want to do the exercise for one and you're not gonna feel fresh so if you're failing at the first exercise then you go on to the second exercise it's kinda of the same thing you're not really sure if you're getting weaker or you're just tired out from the pre previous exercise and taking that all the way to failure so 
gonna kind of end this video here now guys gonna be giving you a full day of eating again tomorrow or the next day not exactly sure but I know you guys enjoyed that and I will be coming out with a lot more of those so hopefully this RPE video makes sense and you guys are able to apply this to all of your training you can use this on every single exercise like I said guys it's something that is universal it's all based on you your RPE scale is gonna be different from somebody else's just because you guys are different people different strengths and so on so Thank you guys once again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you once again.